Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. An East Kentucky network company. Data speed slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. The Pike County Fiscal Court narrowly approved using coal servants funds to purchase a truck for the city of Coal Run Village. In a special meeting Tuesday, the Pike County Fiscal Court approved applying for $65,000 in single county coal severance funds for a new dump truck with a snowplow for Coal Run. The approval was not without some dissent. District 5 Pike County Magistrate Hillman Dotson said he has taken criticism for how coal severance funds have been used. He said if one project is deemed not worthy for coal severance funding because it doesn't promote economic development, other projects that could be questioned the same way should be passed over as well. Dotson's statements were in reference to a bridge project he hopes to get done in his home district. So, you know, I'm just forcing my opinion on the feelings I have for this coal severance money. If it's going to be spent, they need to... to uh, spend it the way it, they try to criticize the court. You know, they took it away from the court several years ago, so we were wasting money. And to me, it would be better for a judge and six magistrates to choose how this money is going to be spent than just blow it and spend it any way you want to. Dotson added that Coal Run, which passed its own occupational tax ordinance in 2015 in response to Pike County's passage of an occupational tax ordinance, should foot the bill for the dump truck. And you know when the occupational tax came about, the city of Coal Run chose to, to pull out of and, and, and get their own occupational tax from their businesses and their stores. And I think it would be only right for them to, to use their budget to buy equipment with if they're going to be separate from the county. Dotson, Judge Executive Bill Deskins, and Magistrate Bobby Varney all voted against the project, which was ultimately approved by a 4-3 to three vote. Magistrate Jeff Anderson indicated that State Representative Chris Harris agreed to endorse the funding if the fiscal court approved it. At the Pike County Courthouse, no. Chris Anderson, no. EKB News. No.